so let me solve few problems on tapering sections uniformly tapering circular sections so this is the first example a rod which tapers uniformly from 40 mm diameter to 20 mm diameter in a length of 400 mm he is subjected to an axial load of 5000 newton if the Young's modulus is 2.1 into 10 raise to 5 newton per mm square find the extension of the rod so here the diameter is 40 millimeter that is bigger diameter so d1 equals 40 millimeters and it is d2 smaller diameter d2 which is equal to 20 millimeters and the length of the rod so length of the rod it is 400 millimeters and it is subjected to an axial load so which is p 5000 newton and Young's modulus of the rod or Young's modulus of the material is 2.1 into 10 raise to 5 newton per millimeter square here it is required to find the extension that is delta L for a tapering circular section so elongation can be calculated by by using this formula so elongation delta L equals 4 PL divided by pi E so into 1 divided by d1 d2 so it is the formula to calculate the elongation or extension for a tapering circular section so here 4 multiplied by p is axial load which is 5000 l is length of the rod 400 so divided by pi into Young's modulus of the material is 2.1 into 10 raise to 5 so 1 divided by d1 diameter of the bigger diameter so that is 40 multiplied by d2 smaller diameter so 20 so if you solve this equation so you will get a delta l elongation as 0 0.01515 millimeters so this is the elongation for the given tapering circular rod So this will be the second problem on tapering circular section. Find the modulus of elasticity of a rod that tapers uniformly from 30 mm to 15 mm in diameter of length 350 mm. The rod is subjected to an axial load of 5.5 kN and the extension of the rod is 0.0. 25 millimeters so bigger diameter d1 which is 30 millimeter so smaller diameter d2 which is 15 millimeters and the length of the rod it is 350 millimeter and it is subjected to an axial load which is 5.5 kilonewton so if you convert this to newton 
so it will be 5500 newton and extension of the rod that is elongation delta l it is given 0 0.025 millimeters so in this problem it is required to calculate Young's modulus so already we know the formula so elongation delta l equals so 4 pl divided by pi e so multiplied by 1 divided by d1 d2 so here it is required to calculate the Young's modulus so then this equation can be rewritten as so Young's modulus E equals 4 PL divided by pi into delta L so divided by 1 divided by D1 D2 so let me substitute the values so Young's modulus E equals 4 into P value it is 5000 500 multiplied by length 350 divided by pi into delta L 0 0.025 so into 1 divided by D1 so which is 30 multiplied by D2 15 so if you solve this equation you will get Young's modulus as 217883.41 newton per millimeter square or it can be written as so Young's modulus E equals 2.18 into 10 raise to 5 Newton per millimeter square. So, this is the Young's modulus for this given tapering circular rod.